If you've ever tried to add any sort of glass material to Blender, you're probably already aware that it tends to make the scene very noisy. The way that any sort of ray tracing or path tracing software works when you have a light beam going through a transparent object that's also glossy, it tends to make things very, very noisy. Um, it doesn't matter if you use a the glass shader, the standard glass shader in Blender, or if you use another type of setup, you get noise either way normally. Luckily there is a way to make better glass in Blender, which isn't quite physically accurate, but looks almost as good and has much less noise and renders a little bit faster. If I select her and add a new material, okay, and I'm going to get rid of the principal shader, and I'm going to add the glass shader in, okay? But what I'm also going to do add a transparent BDSF and I'm going to add a mix node. Okay. I'm going to put the glass into the top, transparent into the bottom and I'm going to connect the doors up and have a look at that. Okay. Now what we need to do to make Blender basically ignore any of the, the light paths that have bounced around inside the glass is we need to add this setup. We need to add a light path node and a math node. Okay, and we're going to take the is reflection ray output and connect it to the top. And we're going to get the transparent depth and connect that to the bottom. And then we're just going to set this to maximum. I'm going to use that as the factor. Okay, now if we give this a render, what you should be able to see here is that this is much, much less noisy. Yeah, it doesn't quite look as good, but part of that's because we have a glass object here. If this was like just a window plane or something like that, and if we didn't have an all white background, you would hardly be able to tell the difference between this and any other type of glass, but you would have much less noise. So give this a go guys, let me know what you think. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button below.